My name's Dr. Gareth Davies. I'm consultant in emergency medicine and pre-hospital care at the Royal London Hospital and also medical director for London's Air Ambulance. Uh, and I'm here today, I've been talking about uh, cutting edge advances uh, in trauma care management in 2015. The talk um, begins with a, a little bit of a caution uh, around uh, cutting edge uh, technologies and processes. Uh, often they're found uh, to be wanton after a while uh, and that they need uh, proof uh, and reassuring uh, up. Um, but ostensibly uh, cutting edge uh, initiatives uh, are a part of the normal process, scientific process uh, that they're needed to, to advance our, our medicine. If they do go wrong, uh, we do need to fine tune them. Um, and, uh, and part of that process uh, is there in terms of uh, collecting data uh, to, to make sure that uh, cutting edge uh, initiatives um, do go balanced as they uh, move forward. The, um, uh, the initiatives that uh, we talked about today uh, include things such as um, uh, EPR, Emergency Preservation Resuscitation and Suspended Animation, uh, a technique where the body is super cooled down to 10 or 14 degrees C uh, and then in a low flow or no flow uh, situation uh, the patient is left suspended uh, in near metabolic uh, arrest and uh, then surgically operated on and then uh, they are rewarmed and reanimated uh, and the first trial of that is recruiting in the US at the present time. We also talked about impact brain apnea and the ventilation problems that uh, it may give some of our head injured patients and the catecholamine surge associated with it which also uh, may uh, give patients uh, refractory uh, shock. Uh, and we talked a little bit about uh, initiatives such as the GoodSAM app uh, who may, uh, which may try and uh, address some of those issues and potential other therapies such as um, um, ECMO or, or SAP technology uh, to help uh, patients that have cardiovascular failure in the context of uh, head injury. We also talked about a few initiatives when it comes to spinal cord injury, uh, firstly uh, uh, um, an organization in the US that were using uh, brain waves to move uh, orthotic uh, limbs so that paralyzed patients could literally start to walk just using their brain waves transmitted directly to orthotic devices and not using their spinal cord and we also talked about a spinal injury patient who had a stem cell uh, trans, uh, transplant uh, that is now showing signs of recovery and walking for uh, himself. Um, so uh, a broad description of uh, some initiatives that uh, we from our service think are uh, important uh, here and now in 2015.